Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the difference between around 100 bad and around 200 bad. So let's get into it, okay? I'm going to go into Easy and Sandbox, and if you don't know how this works, so basically, on round 1, you have a red balloon, and this is how slow a red balloon is on round 1, okay? But, if we change the round to something like round, I don't know, 150, the balloon gets faster. And then if we go to the highest round that I've gone to, wait, 264, okay? This is how fast the red balloon is. Comparing that to the round one red balloon that's this slow, it's completely different. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing around 100 bad which is this slow, to around 200 bad, and we're going to see what the difference of the speed is. So here we've got the round 100, if I speed it up a bit, let's go back to 100, speed it up a bit, and this is how fast the bad is, okay? Now, if we're going to 200, which is 100 rounds after, and I send a bad, this is how much faster it is. Now, let's go to around 250, and this is how much faster it is. So that is the way that balloons works in making the rounds harder as it goes on. Because they can't just keep sending multitudes of balloons. Because that would just crash people's PCs. Instead, they speed it up, and it makes it faster and more difficult. They also give it more health. So, if I... Place down a boomerang monkey, okay? And get the bottom path. Now, if I send around 40 Moab, which is when the Moab comes, okay? Easily beats it. Around 100 Moab will be even harder, but it should still defend. Yes. Now, around 150 Moab. A bit more trouble. Do you see that? And it doesn't even defend against 150, let alone around 250 Moab, which when sent, it's a lot harder to beat, and it hasn't even done much damage. So, that's how balloons makes the game more difficult. And if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and comment down below what other comparisons you want to see in the future. And I'll see you in the next one.